In figure 2.2, really what we're looking at is how time as a soil forming factor uh, really influences the formation of soil. So, so what we're doing is we're moving, as we move, uh, as we move to the right in this graph, we're moving in terms of uh, years or in terms of a uh, time factor. Uh, this all depends on climate as to how long this, this sort of thing actually uh, actually takes. But you can see that we start off with a pretty thick uh, or a pretty uh, sorry, we should just start off with an O horizon. It's not very thick usually at the very beginning. It becomes thicker after time. We have an O horizon organic material that's collecting on the surface of rock and you may have seen these if you go hiking or things like that. A rock that has lichen and then there starts to collect some more you know debris and starts to collect a little bit of mineral material uh, and, and so we have this weathering process begin to work on uh, on that rock. As we move to the next stage here we have an O horizon. We have some plant life developing on this soil, an A horizon. So we're starting to weather this bedrock uh, from underneath. Okay, so that's a very important concept to understand uh, this is residual type uh, parent material. So we're taking the material that's underneath, the unearthed, uh, sorry, the unweathered rock underneath, and it's getting weathered over time. It's becoming soil. It's being transformed uh, over this time scale. It's being transformed into, uh, into soil. So you can think about um, kind of this inversion and, and just this transformation of uh, all this material right here from being rock to being soil and soil that's that's characterizable. So we can we can say things about uh, we can say things about that uh, that soil. Okay, so my eraser here. All right, so so those are some things to, to think about that, that we're making this soil in, or this rock into soil, and over time, as we become more mature and even more mature, horizons are being formed. Things are being moved down into the soil. We start out with a very thin E horizon, and then it gets even thicker uh, and thicker. The B horizon also gets thicker and starts to accumulate clays as we've noted before. So this is the, this is this would be a typical sort of formation of of soil from rock material how it might play out in a in a region that gets a decent amount of rainfall a year probably something on the order of 30 uh, inches of rainfall a year to support this kind of uh, of tree life right there.